Bonjour from the fashion capital of the world. One of the things I've actually never mentioned here on my channel is that I have a background in fashion. Actually, I'm one of those people who has been to university two times. First time was for tourism, and that's why this channel is about traveling, because it's one of my biggest passions. And the second time was for fashion, which is also one of my biggest passions. I am here at a typical Parisian cafe, not far from the Eiffel Tower. I literally just ordered a glass of wine, a glass of good French wine, a good Merlot, actually. Mm, amazing. And in the meanwhile, I have to tell you about this amazing fashion exhibition I visited today at the Dior Gallery. So Dior just opened very recently a new gallery at the same building as the first Dior was ever launched. They had a great exhibition a couple of years ago in one of the museums here in Paris. Unfortunately, I missed the exhibition because I lost my passport right the night before I was supposed to fly to Paris, which was... Uh, I just want to forget about that. But luckily now, since they opened the new gallery, I have the chance to finally see the Dior archives. If you're planning on coming to Paris and you also want to visit this exhibition, I highly recommend you booking in advance because the lines were huge and the gallery is very popular. So you probably have to book a certain time slot before you go. And the ticket costs around 15 euros or something like that. I'm gonna put the exact number right here. Even though I bought the ticket in advance, we still have to wait in this huge line, but I can't wait to get in. As soon as you enter the exhibition, you're greeted with the original Dior silhouette that revolutionized post-war fashion from 1947. And why was this silhouette so revolutionary back then? In the post-war era, women were expected to dress soberly and functionally. And Dior changed how women viewed themselves when no one else was doing that. like about this type of exhibitions is that you have the chance to see the inspiration behind all those pieces because when you actually think about it these pieces are kind of like a piece of art and we get to see a whole wall of Dior inspirations actually some of the biggest inspirations behind his designs were his surroundings flowers and surprisingly book covers which is pretty cool if you think about it how someone can transform like inspiration from book covers into like full-on fashion dresses. But Dior wasn't really good at fashion at first. This was a craft that he had to improve along the years. He actually started as a hat designer and as a hat designer he became very successful and later on he became a full-on fashion house. And for those like me who are also very interested in the creative process, it's really great that they display some of his sketches and inspirations. But the second room was absolutely stunning. It's themed in a sort of enchanted garden. It's dark and moody, the ceiling is covered in beautiful plant-like decorations made out of paper, there is sounds of birds, and the pieces displayed are a mix of some of his contemporary designs mixed with some of his original designs from back in the day. And the space really gives you the feeling like as if you were transported into a sort of like fashion fairy tale. Some of the details of these pieces are so intricate, it must have taken days of work by multiple people to come up with one of these dresses. This is true art. Then there is this hall where you can see pieces from every designer that worked for Dior. From the beginning when he was the main designer to the present day with Galliano, Yves Saint Laurent, Gianfranco Ferrer, Ralph Simons.
I also had the pleasure to speak to some of the seamstresses that work in the Haute Couture Atelier right above the building. They don't speak English, I don't speak French, but we try to communicate in the best way that we could. My mother tongue is Portuguese, so I can kind of understand some of the words that they were saying because yeah, they are just very similar, but yeah. I understand a little French, but I don't speak. Technique pour fabriquer et le travail de la haute couture. Tissu. Après, on va mettre l'entoilage. Petit point à la main. Avec picoter à la main aussi pour donner la forme. Ah, je comprends. Pour la cliente. Cliente. Ok. Made to measure. Oui. To measure. Okay. Voilà. Okay. Et ensuite, euh, on va piquer à la machine. Ok. Four um, weeks. Oui, oui. Four weeks. Ah bah de toute façon, ça. Oui, de toute façon, c'est à taille. Oui, oui, oui. C'est un peu la démonstration. C'est la démonstration. Voilà. Prête à la main. Comme on l'a fait. À la main. Ok. Ah, oui. If you're also interested in fashion and you are planning on coming to Paris, you cannot miss this gallery. And by the way, if you want to find some fashion inspirations, I also recommend you just walking around on the streets of the area. This area where Dior is is full of fashion brands and uh, there's lots of restaurants that are frequented by celebrities as well. Like, I know that one of them is like, oh yeah, the one right in front of Dior is frequented by Kim Kardashian whenever she's in Paris and Kanye West as well. I heard the restaurant is just overhyped, overpriced, and the service is not supposed to be good, but I don't know, some people are interested, so if you are, you should go check it out. If you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments and then who knows, maybe I can make another one from a different fashion brand. I have an entire playlist here full of Paris videos, so it's worth checking it out. And I see you guys on the next one. Au revoir!